Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the creation of Azure database for Postgres SQL Flexible Server from Azure CLI. Through Azure CLI commands, we are going to create the flexible server, connect to it, create tables, and then query the data. So we'll go to the first command, which is the creation of the Postgres SQL flexible server command, which starts with az Postgres flexible server create. Okay, so create is the keyword here. And to study more about this command in detail, we have this official documentation link, which you copy. And if we try to open it here, let's say, we'll see here that it is used to create Postgres flexible server and the different options and parameters you can give here. Okay, so we'll go back here. You can see on the screen a sample command already given where we have mentioned after the create the location resource group, name of the server admin user, admin password, the SKU which will be used, the tier, storage size, etc. So we'll copy this command and we'll go to the Azure portal. Okay, so let me just take you to the Azure portal. Since here we have mentioned the resource group as test group will enter inside the test group resource group. Here currently we don't have any resource. So we'll leave it as is and on the top right side you can see here the icon cloud shell. This is the cloud shell where we are going to use the commands. The commands which we have for Azure CLI. Yeah. Let me expand this. So here we are currently in the cloud shell and in the bash. So now we will paste the command. The command is pasted and we'll press enter. So it is now checking the existence of the resource group. Resource group present. It says detect the current client IP. So we'll say yes. And then it says the creation is in progress. Okay. The name of the server we have given is CKCLI server. So you can see here at the last line running is the command which is in progress. So after a few minutes you will see that the running status will change to configure server firewall rule to accept connections. We'll wait for some more time. In the meantime, we'll open or duplicate this tab and here in the tab you can see that in the test group we have the server got created. Okay. So you can see that CKCLI server, which is created today is now provisioned. If we go back here in the CLI command, we'll see that it said to create firewall rule. And now we are back to the command line here and we can see that the firewall rule we have to create to accept connections to this and the database Postgres database flexible server DB is also created. And the details are shown here the correction string, database name, firewall name, host ID, location, password, resource groups, queue, username and version. So our server is ready. We have confirmed it through the portal as well. I will go back again to the PPT where we have the next command to set the firewall rule. To, for setting the firewall rule through Azure CLI, we have the same. AZ Postgres flexible server and then firewall rule create. There we have to again give the resource group name, the server name, rule name and the IP address. So since this is for demo purpose, we are allowing all addresses 0000. We'll paste the command here and we'll click enter. So again, you'll see the status running. We'll wait for some time. So the command completed and we can see here in the result and IP address name resource group again the start IP address. Okay, so we have taken all the IP addresses. Now next after setting the firewall rule, we will go to connect to the server. How we can connect to the server is using the same AZ Postgres flexible server and then the command is connect. It will give the server detail that is the server name. Username and the password. So we'll copy this 
and we'll go back to the CLI command and here let me go down a little here we'll play, paste the command so yeah let's wait for some time so after giving this command it should display successfully connected to the server we'll wait for that to appear it says to install the extension we'll say yes so here it gives that the password authentication failed we'll give the command together because i think the command was taken up in the next line and it could not detect it as a single password so we'll give it a b c d one two three four hash and then close it here we have missed something connecting to postgres database so yeah so yeah it again failed because we have not given the correct password we have taken So we have missed the symbol here. We'll again give the password. Yeah. So we haven't closed it properly this time. I think it should work. Successfully connected to the CK CLI server. Here we have given the wrong symbol above you can see. So that's why the command was taken as incorrect that is the password is incorrect so we'll correct it here also yeah here it looks correct so something was messed up during copying the command okay so now this looks fine we will go back here and we can see that we can connect to the server in interactive mode also so for interactive mode we have to just mention here postgres and interactive so we'll copy this command we'll go back and we'll paste it here and press enter it will ask us to give the password so just give the password a b c d one two three four and hash so yeah it is connected if we enter inside the interactive mode we can here write the commands like SQL select one. Now we are in the PG CLI and in the Postgres CLI we can directly query. Okay. Upon writing select one, we could query the data. Okay. If you want to exit, we can exit also from the interactive mode. Now next is to execute single queries. So in order to execute this command, we'll just copy, go back and First, we have to exit from the pgcli command. So we will click on exit. We are now back to the Azure CLI and here we'll paste our command. Okay, so the command was select one to output it to a table. So select one for select one, the result was one it has given us. And the command use was execute. It was just connect and in connect only we are going to the interactive mode now for execution of the queries we have to use execute next is to run sql file we can create a sql file and put it inside the azure cli and then that sql file we can execute it so for that purpose if we go here we have a test sql file if you open this test sql file this test sql file has three commands select one select two and select three this we are going to put inside the this file we are going to upload to the azure cli so here on the top you can see here the third option manage files here we will click on upload and we'll upload that file test.sql right side you can see that it is uploaded to destination this is the destination path and file name is test sql okay so successfully this file is uploaded and now we have to we'll close it and now we will use this command so the command is again execute server name database name password and then 
using the file path argument that is hyphen f and mentioning the file name we can execute that file so we'll just paste the command click enter and it says successfully executed the file close the connection to ckcli server so our file is successfully executed all three commands are executed now next is we can create the database so we have not yet created a database using command so we'll create a blank database called as my pg sql db we'll copy the command we'll go here and paste it just so here we do not have to execute this command we have to again go inside the postgres cli okay so for that purpose we will just execute our previous command that is we will first connect to the ckcli server in the interactive mode we'll give the password now we are here we can now create the database the database is created at the prompt execute the following command to switch connection to the newly created database now we have to enter inside the database through cli okay so for that purpose we have this command backslash c and then mention the database name so that will enter inside my pg sql db now you can see here on the left side my pg sql db we are inside now now we are inside the server ckcli server inside the database my pg sql db we can create tables and query the data inside it so we'll go back here and create a table with the help of this sample command we are creating a table called as inventory so we'll paste it we'll click enter the table has been created successfully now you can see the newly created table in the list of tables now by typing backslash dt it will display so we have the schema called public the name of the table as inventory type is table and owner is ck postgres db we'll go back we will insert some data into this table so we have here two commands of insertion so we'll copy these commands and we'll paste it here click enter insertion happened successfully now we can query the data from this inventory table So here we can see that we have three columns and two rows inserted as shown above in the form of table by the select query. So this is how we can create the server, connect to it, create the database, create table, insert data and query the results. I hope you have understood the video. Do let me know in comments if you have any query. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.